Black people have always made a way out of no way. And Hollywood is no different. Because the images we see on screen impact our beliefs and our actions. And they last forever. Hey, I'm uh, Brian Michael Smith. I play Paul Strickland on 911 Lone Star. I'm an actor, I'm a proud trans man, and I'm excited to be sharing my story. I was just a kid myself when I first left home. I barely had the language or the understanding of what I was going through. Mass communication has always been used as a tool to sort of shape attitudes around people in this country, particularly people of color. For a long time, the studios were not interested in telling authentic black stories because there was a belief White audiences or the audiences that pay and the audiences that matter are not going to want to see a story about a black person. We're humans just like everybody else and we have multi-dimensional stories of our own. We want to see ourselves. Everybody wants to see themselves in what they engage in. Do not let them shame you for being proud. What you end up having were, you know, black people getting their hands on, you know, film equipment and just writing the stories they wanted to see and getting them out into their own audiences. So we open our own studio to start to produce our own content. When I think about the future generations, I, I think about myself and how long it took me to really believe that I would be able to do what I'm doing now. Earlier representations of trans people would show us as villains, as victims of violence, or the butts of jokes or blips on the screen. And then in the last five to six years, thankfully because of people like Laverne Cox and India Moore and Candace Kane, we have seen more authentic representation. So I love that the characters that I play are not victims. They're people who are valuable and that they are able to use their life experiences because they have found acceptance. You can't help who you are, right? Leave me, I know. I want to be able to perform any character that speaks to me no matter what. Very much like the actors that I admire, Denzel Washington and Will Smith, have taken on roles that weren't specifically written for black men. And because they took the role, then the story changed. And I was like, I want to do that. You know, definitely I want to be able to tell stories that are specific to my experience, yes. But then I also want to show how related we are as humans and how interconnected we are by playing other characters so that you may not think of someone like me for that character. But watch what I can do with it. Sign me up. When people reach out to me, let me know how much a character that I've, I brought to screen or a situation that they've gone through has resonated with them or helped them feel empowered or seen. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't have a word for that, but it, it, it lights me up. We got you, fam. I don't think there's a greater feeling. It makes all of the struggles that I went through worthwhile. TV is something that we spend so much time with and it is in our homes and it does shape a lot of what we believe about ourselves and the world around us. So it's imperative that we continue to see what we're seeing now with the increase of authentic, truthful, multifaceted human representation. That might be the most beautiful thing that we will ever see.